What's going on, sniping for Dom fans and all you big, big, sexy supporters out there? My name is Derek. My gamer tag alias is for Dom. How the hell are you guys doing today? Today we are back with another World War II gameplay of what I think is the most overpowered SMG in this game, and I am talking about none other than the Sten. I am using the heroic version. I got this in a drop the day that it came out, and I am in love with this gun. If you watch my channel all the time, you know it's a lot of sniping content, but this gun is fucking phenomenal. This is the Rooted 2, and I'm going to give you a little bit of background about this gun, and I have a feeling you guys are going to fall in love with this. Just look at this gun. It looks glorious. The magazine that I'm using, of course, the, the perks that I'm using on it is Extended Mag, Rapid Fire, and the reticle for the red dot. Look at the skull on the side of this thing. This gun just screams badass all over it. This gameplay is what I thought was going to be a nuke, and I just went off the first part of this game. So go ahead if you're coming in right now. Smack that like button, leave a comment down below telling me if you have this gun, what you think about it. Now let's go ahead and get into the video. If you're brand new to the channel, also don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. We're streaming six days a week plus up uploading three to four times a week on top of that. Now, a little bit of background about this gun. It tells you a little bit how, how badass it is. The Sten or the Sten gun was a family of British submachine guns chambered in 9x19mm and used extensively by British and Commonwealth forces throughout World War II and the Korean War. They were notable for having a simple design and a very low production cost and also making them effective insurgency weapons for resistant groups. The STIN is an acronym from the names of the weapon chief designers who were Majin Reginald V. Shepard and Harold Turpin. Over 4 million STINs in various versions were made in the 1940s. The STIN emerged while Britain was engaged in the Battle of Britain facing the invasion by Germany. The army was forced to replace weapons during the evacuation from Dunkirk while expanding at the same time. Prior to 1941 and even later, the British were purchasing all the Thomas submachine guns they could from the United States. But these just did not meet the demand. American entry into war and at the end of 1941 placed an even bigger demand on the facilities making Thompsons in order to rapidly equip a sufficient fighting force to counter to the Axis threat. The Royal Small Arms Factory Enfield was commissioned to produce an alternative, and therefore we have the Sten. The Sten shared design features such as its side-mounted magazine configuration with the Royal Navy's Lanchester sub submachine gun, which was a copy, basically, of the German MP-28. In terms of manufacturer, the Lancaster was entirely different, being made of high-quality materials with pre-war fit and finish. In stark contrast to the Sten's austere execution, the Lancaster and Sten magazines were even interchangeable, though the Lancaster's magazine was a little bit longer with the 50-round capacity compared to the Sten's 32-round capacity. If you guys have not been playing with this gun, you need to pick this thing up. Even the normal version of it, even the normal version of the Sten is clean. And it, I think in all honesty, this is pound for pound the best gun that you can use in the SMG class. I hope you guys have been enjoying the videos. Sit back, enjoy this. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. If you've used this stand, what your favorite perks are on it, and if not, give this gun a try, and I promise you, you are about to fall in love. I love every single one of you. I hope you guys have a blessed week, and I'll see you guys on the next fucking video. By the way, if you haven't checked out my red submission to the Red Reserve, you need to go check it out. It's getting a lot of hype over it. I love you guys. Yeah. I'm out. Oh, they run that side. I'm not sure. They're not going there.
so much for stopping by and taking time out of your day to show some love on my video don't forget to leave a like comment I always reply back to every comment and also subscribe if you haven't don't forget to check out a few of my sponsors G fuel use code Dom 10 to get 10% off control freaks Dom 10 to get 10% off trigger devils Dom 10 to get 10% off and my chair sponsor is GT Omega racing that is code Dom to get 5% off I love you guys don't forget to check out my daily streams as well as my other videos I upload through the week. I love you all. Mwah.